Hey, yo, the attention police is here to keep you updated. Welcome to the Ryan X Straight Up Show. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a like or a comment. Boom. Something interesting happened yesterday for those who have been following. I'm not happy, by the way. I'm not sad, by the way. So things have to happen. If you do bad things, then bad things will happen to you. If you do good things, then good things will happen to you. I'm talking about Kafta and Pretty Nicole. So yesterday was the 31st of Jan, 2023. And guess what, guys? Kafta has been sentenced to three years in prison. Three good years in prison. That means... She's going to be out in 2026, January 2026. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I keep telling people, think before you do things. It's good to think. Something as, uh, I don't think Kafta thought such a thing would happen to her. Completely, I don't think she thought such a thing would happen to her. So she... She assaulted her friend, who happened to be 14 years. That is Pretty Nicole. They beat her up. Actually, the three, Kafta and the other two girls, those are three girls. And then the boy was there. So there were like five people in that house who witnessed or who participated directly or indirectly into beating Kafta. In, into beating Pretty Nicole. Sorry about that. Into beating Pretty Nicole. But wow, who thought, I think they never thought this would come. They recorded their own evidence. And now, Kafta is all alone. None of her friend is there. Uh, the boyfriend is not there. She has been sentenced alone. I don't know what is happening to the other guys. So Ugandan police and uh, the responsible, the court, they should order for the arrest of these guys because... If Kafta is going to be sentenced, these other people also need to be sentenced. They all participated in this act. I don't know why. Kafta and her friends, uh, they beat her up, gave her strokes of cane, about 50 to 100 strokes of cane on every part of her body. They undressed her. They poured dirty water on her. She fell on the stairs as she was trying to run. At the end of the day, we only had, saw Kafta being arrested. I'm telling you, my friends, when you do things with your friends, you might end up paying for it on your own. Where are the others? But I'm still hoping the Ugandan police or the court will give out an arrest warrant for these other ones because they also deserve the same punishment as Kafta. So the question is, did Kafta really deserve the three years? Personally, I think every action has a reaction to it. So when you do something, expect something in return. And this is the punishment that she got for what she did. Three years, was it, uh, was it really fair for her? I wouldn't say that's the decision of the court. So they made their own decision. Am I remorseful for her? Ah, kind of, because, uh, yeah, I'm a bit remorseful for her. Yeah, she's going to prison. But uh, also when I look at the three years, she's just 18 years. So she'll probably be coming out when she's 21 years, unless otherwise... Uh, she appeals, but also appealing she might end up going inside for more or the sentence might be reduced. Depends how good, but all the evidence is out there. So I don't think even appealing will help her. But at the same time, I'm not too remorseful for the sentence because personally, if you, you are a parent and your daughter faced such a thing, no matter what she is or what she does, but you are a parent, you can't just stand and also watch your daughter go through such torture. Because after everything that happened, remember, Pretty Nicole has a life. She has to go to school. She has to interact with other friends. Now that her face is out all there, maybe she goes to places or to different malls or trying to mind her own business. People will always be, ah, Pretty Nicole, Pretty Nicole. So, and then it might impact her students our fellow students might use those videos to bully her at school so that is also something she has to go for rehabilitation 
uh, a secondary school i guess she's like in senior two or senior one or senior three never know then being 14 years then she has to go through high school she has to go through university she has her own life never know and she has kids they might see that video in future so this is a lifelong torment so basing on the judgment and what pretty nicole will also go through she's not in prison but the life she's going to face it's going to be tough so it's going to be tormenting for her so she has to learn to live with that uh, let's look at some of uh, the news that was out there when all this happened uh, from galaxy fm which also covered it so updates pretty nicole's tormentor queen kafta has been sentenced to three years in pre in luzira women's prison full details galaxy fm.co.ug then we also have uh, from NTV Uganda update. Uh, Chira Court Chief Magistrate Roslyn Senge, oh, Senge, sorry for that, uh, has sentenced Ka uh, Kafta Queen to three years in prison over aggregated torture on her 15 year old friend Pretty Nicole and inflicting grievous bodily harm. 15 years, possibly she has just turned 15, but when this happened like three weeks ago, she was uh, still 14 so i'm not sure about the age so i can't say if they are wrong or what but uh, if they're reporting 15 maybe she has just turned 15 years but by then she was 14 years what is your opinion in regards to all this did queen kafta really deserve the sentence she got was it too harsh was it too lenient uh a pretty nicole uh statement that was re read by miss rosling was that uh this has not this has not been the first time that Kafta has Kafta has been bullying her. She actually said uh, Kafta has been fighting for men, so possibly I guess it's this is not the only man because Putin Gold said Kafta has been fighting for men even before this, and then secondly, she also said uh, Kafta has been bullying her once in a while pouring alcohol on her i don't know what they're doing with alcohol at that age so pouring alcohol on her on some occasions and this when they are out together so all these are factors that means that uh, kafta is not as innocent as it looks and she's not as straight also with one person as it looks she has basically a couple of men and when you look at the pictures that have been there on the social media you can actually see both kafta pretty nicole in bar in a bar i think there was one i think in a bar or something like that so all these things they come and bring in the question who was right who was wrong were they both wrong were they both right personally i think they were both wrong pretty nicole should have not been there in the first place being that she's so young and kafta should not have taken the law into her own hands and decide to beat this lady and to make it worse she ended up recording her own evidence that was used to convict her. So for any discussions, please, we can discuss what your opinion is. Just uh, comment down and I'll get back to you. And uh, my urge is the other ladies and the man, they also need to be brought to book. Whatever Kafta is going through right now, they all need because they all participated in this. They are not innocent at all. So I don't understand why she's the only one facing this, but they all need to face this together. See you soon with more updates. If anything comes out, if you have anything you want me to talk about, uh, let me see you on that comment box and I'll follow it up for you to give you more updates on it. This is your favorite guy, Ryan X. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you and see you soon. Abad in your here.